Monica Miller with Looking for Group. Today I'm here with Courtney Calder, the esports director at Wichita State University. How are you doing today, Courtney? I'm doing well. Thank you so much. Of course. Thank you for being here today to answer these questions about your program. And if you don't mind, I'm just going to go ahead and dive right in. I want to know, how did the program at Wichita get started? Was it from the administration? Did the students come forward? Was it you who built the program? Tell me more about it. Yeah, absolutely. So it's not, um, it was established before I got in here. Um, it started 2019. Um, it was originally part of our club program at Wichita State University, and it kind of migrated over. They pulled over uh, two teams, uh, which was going to be Overwatch and League, I believe is what they originally started with. Um, I started back in May, so uh, of this year. Um, currently, we have five teams, so it has grown a little bit, um, and we are moving forward with that. Excellent. So well, congratulations. Welcome to welcome to the scene here. Are you a gamer yourself? Do you play? Oh, I would be lying if I said yes. Um, I My background in gaming, I guess, would be more like FIFA, and uh, I'm quite wonderful at Fall Guys. But uh, outside of that, no, not really. Hey, it counts. You're, you're in the in the club. You, you game. It counts. That's sweet. So tell me about the five titles you offer right now. Are they are they all competitive? Are they casual? What's the dynamic there? Yeah, so four of our five are, are fully supported and, and competitive. Um, so that would be League of Legends, Overwatch, Rocket League, and Smash. Uh, we did a, a bring on Valorant this year as well, um, which kind of is a, a little bit of CSGO from last year. Um, has kind of migrated over to our Valorant scene. Um, but as you know, Valorant's not entirely supported all around anyway. So um, they are just kind of brought onto our program as a, uh, I guess, an inaugural inaugural program. Very nice. So how many students are there all together, um, competitive and casual side, if you don't mind? So when I when we talk about casual, we have 120 in our club program on campus. Um, within the varsity program, supported and um, fully funded, I guess, uh, would be around 35. Excellent. Okay. So transitioning then into the natural next question, can you tell me about the facilities that you have available for your players? What's the access like? Can club members access it at any time? Um, what kind of equipment are you running and how large is the space? For sure. Um, so we have two areas on campus. We have a, a club area, or excuse me, a hub area, uh, which will carry 20 computers. Um, they're all fully uh CLX, so it's one of our partners here locally in town. Uh, Peripheral-wise, um, some of them are Logitech. I believe in the hub is Logitech. Um, in our varsity room, we carry seven computers, still CLX. Um, our peripherals will be HyperX and uh, Corsair. Um, but yeah, so the space-wise, I, I, I'd, I'd be lying if I knew the square footage. The, the 20 computer hub, which is for any student on campus, um, is rather large. There's also going to be a, a switch in there as well as an Xbox. Um, we do have streaming capability in there as well. Um, in the varsity room, it's a little bit smaller. It's uh, more exclusive in regards for our, our varsity players. Um, and that's where you'll see uh, just a little bit more of like a higher end computer would be in there. Yeah. Okay. And are your students helping out with initiatives like broadcasting, social media? Are they getting involved in some experiential learning? Absolutely. So part of our program, we actually base our, our program on a Path to Pro um, kind of model. So it's not necessarily path to professional athlete, but path to professional human. Um, and so those three pillars uh, are going to be competitive, applied learning, and research and education. Um, so pillar two, which is our applied learning, is for any and all students that are a part of WSU. Um, so let's say a student wants to be a part of the esports team, but doesn't play any, you know, any games. They just absolutely love it. Um, and they want to work in shoutcasting or they want to do social media. Uh, we bring them on board. Um, we work with them in some low stakes games for shoutcasting, for example, um, and then we can move them on up. Uh, we also partner with EGF, which is our uh, one of the leagues that three of our teams play in, and they have a shoutcaster program too. Where we're able to funnel in our students through them. But in regards to social media, all of my social media and content team are current students, uh, none of which actually play on a competitive team, and all have various ranges of backgrounds and majors. Um, and they fully run it. And I have to tell you, they have done an amazing job this year. Our social media um, has grown tremendously and I could not be prouder of what they are creating. Yeah, giving the students the autonomy to show off their program brings it a layer of authenticity that um, you can't see elsewhere. Um, yeah. So with that in mind, actually, it sounds like you have a unique thing going on with those three pillars. Can Can you dive in a little bit more deeply and tell me about 
a student who might be watching this interview, I want to apply to the program. What are the options for me to apply? I can either play competitively, I can play as a club member, or I can join and do these um, work options as well. Uh, what, what is the application process like for that? those three different areas. Yeah, so first and foremost, when you apply for the university, you wanna make sure that you're just applying as a student. So you wanna apply uh, through the standard traditional options. Um, and then once we go through that process and you're admitted, and this is this path is also gonna be like, if you're a competitive player, we do work with recruiting. Like we do wanna make sure that we get, um, get you involved sooner than later. So we might do a tryout before we ever have you apply to the university. Um, but let's say we've tried, you've done tryouts and you, you want to be a part of our team. We want you on board. We'd have you apply for the, for the institution. Once you're accepted, we move forward, um, making sure that we have everything organized. We'd bring you on board. You'd sign all your paperwork. Um, and then we would start the, the fall with uh, like our zero week where we would bring you in and kind of go through orientation and whatnot. Um, if you're not playing and you just want to be a part of the institution or excuse me, the organization, you would just apply to the school traditionally. Um, and then you would reach out to us. And we do have different application processes for our organization. So uh, separate from uh, an actual WSU application to attend as a student. Um, if you wanna be a streamer or you wanna work in broadcast or you wanna work in social media, we would have you fill out something small just so that way we can make sure that we put you in the right place and that you are qualified for that. We don't wanna set you up to fail. We wanna help you grow and learn. And that's really what this is all about. It's, it's really, we're not here to say no, we're here to say yes, or how can we do that? So um, don't be afraid that if, if you send in an application that, oh, it's gonna be fully denied if you have no experience. Um, we start off with low stakes and move to high stakes. So um, definitely an inclusive environment. Excellent. Yeah, it sure sounds that way. And it's, 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 you guys are putting the student first and foremost at the center and making sure that they're doing something that they wanna do. Um, yeah, that's great. So for the students who are looking to apply, who are going through this process, which it can be daunting at times, what is some advice that you can share as a director in this role, either specifically for Wichita or the general application process as a whole, um, just to get students feeling a little bit better and comfortable about the process? Absolutely. I mean, it is it is daunting. I mean, you figure whether you're a freshman or a transfer student or a grad student, whatever that might be any different time in your life, um, it's always a big deal when you're having to apply for something and always the chance of, of what is the outcome going to be. Um, I would say that please reach out to us directly. Um, you can reach out to me. My information's on our website and I can, I can share that with you as well. Um, I will be more than happy to, to kind of go over the process with you guys um, as well as get you involved in anything that we, you might want to be involved in, even if that's outside of the esports program. Um, I am an advocate for anti-silos, so we are a you know, bridge the gap. We'll get you involved in another area on campus if that's something that you desire. Um, we just want you to be part of the Shocker Shocker Nation um, and come on board to Wichita State. That's awesome. Very concise and, and, and straightforward. Now, is there an opportunity for students who maybe want to check out the community in advance? Could they join a Discord server and play some scrims with your students? Is that is it like an open door policy there? Um, at this time, no, and, and I hate saying no, we, we do say yes. Um, we are working on uh, bringing up a, a, a live Discord where we can include everybody. At this time, I just have a varsity Discord. Gotcha. Um, but like I said, that doesn't necessarily mean no. Please reach out and we will absolutely get you involved, um, get you into a scrim if that's something that you desire, um, or get you in contact with our club program um, and kind of go through there so you can have an idea of what the club life is like on campus. Um, so it's not a no, it's just a not right this second. And it's also a put your best foot forward and send me an email. I'm not I'm not a scary yeah. person. I'm going to give you the information you need and help you yeah. out. So yeah, you heard it here, folks. Reach out, ask questions. It's how you're going to get your answers. No? But is there anything about Wichita's program that you'd like to share that maybe wasn't covered in this interview so far? Um, you know, I think we, we did cover a lot. Um, I, I just really want to emphasize that it is about those three pillars and it is about students first. We are extremely student centric. I um, mean, we just want to see everybody grow and succeed. So remember, path to pro doesn't mean professional athlete, professional human. You might go pro in something, but we can absolutely help you go pro in, in being a human. So I really like that. Being a professional human, I might I might steal that and start using that. <laughs> Put that on my LinkedIn profile, professional human. I recommend it. We're going to make sure. <laughs> I love it. Well, I want to buy one. <laughs> Sweet. Well, thank you, Courtney, so much for your time today. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you for having me. Of course.